from the Rivers property in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen, and this guy is the pride of central Idaho. He is Joe Stapleton, and Stapes wrapping up day three here at Rivers in Pittsburgh. You know, and I was just starting to like this place. I'm kidding, we're in the basement of a bar in Fargo. And speaking of murder, coming up tonight, Jen Happy Tilly continues again. a rare non-Chucky related bloodbath. You are one lucky bastard. Like Put the kids to bed, let's go. As we get started tonight, David Baker, ODB, is up 17,000. He's rolling right. And I guess whoever it is he took it from has left the table because no one is even down remotely that much. In his mind, forget that he had that money. Shame. I always love it when I stuff things away and then I'm like putting on some boots that I haven't worn for two years and, you know, $100,000 falls out. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you, but I've never found $100,000 in my house by accident. I only ever find expired gift cards that I was saving for a rainy day and then the place eventually went out of business. I'm talking to you, Bennigans. I'm gonna raise you because I like raising. So I'll make it a nine. I'm gonna call you because I like to call. I'm gonna raise for him. Okay. I'm going to bet blind. I'm going to bet uh, <laughs> Love it. 13 blind. Which gen? Above the This is fun table. king high, so that hits Baker. And the bottom pair hits Tilly. Look at this. You have a little tape here. Look. Is this That's where I'm where supposed, supposed to be centered? There's another king on the turn. That means Jennifer is drawing debtor than her favorite on screen husband. Everyone like this. She Chucky. That's not stopping her from yeah. betting. Look at this. I can't believe when I was a kid I used to check behind the shower curtain for Chucky every time I pee, and now as an adult, I still do it. Tilly will hit the brakes, and ODB's wondering how much more money he can get out of her. I don't think he's expecting her to be as weak as bottom pair. Do you have a king again? Because that would be really rude. Yas queen. Okay. Only thing I can't beat is a pocket pair. She also yeah, can't beat a king. She can't beat a Miss Flush with the King of Clubs. You can, can I look and tell her? Have met Glance's no. lucky ass action that you're sitting on. <laughs> because you'll tell her the truth. And I don't want her to know the truth. And she cannot beat somebody trying to outplay her with pocket threes or better. I feel like you have pocket sixes. But can you beat pocket sixes? No, I cannot. <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jen first gang up on David Day. And Tilly will fold. So sad. He 100% has I'll the show that. I want to say good fold, but it was kind of more standard than a 71 <laughs> Dodge Dart. You are one lucky bastard. <laughs> you finally got him. We're so going to see it. We're going to see it. He had King Time. Correct. You think? You get up. I'm taking You had him kill pre flop, and then he smashed it. Uh, How could I have her killed? She had deuces. She can't be. Yes, she, did. Did. she had like Ace Queen. She had like Ace Queen in there. She said she had a pair. I love getting yeah. the local players involved on Poker Night in America. Yeah. It's such a fun dynamic. I called you, obviously. She calls you with a pair. We do always do open casting calls at every spot we do, and so we never know who could be sitting at the table with uh, regular pros to visit us on Poker Night in America. The yeah, local flavor, Nick Imicus, straddling 200. This is really bad. I could have had that can seat. the no look. But Phil, complain. I don't want to sit there. Now I've got David Baker to my left. I miss my blinds anyway. So Every I time I enter the pot, he's going to flap me. Try. All right. I think if okay, you were that good at acting, you would have been, become a Jennifer Tilly. I raise. Really? I make it 900. 900 if, if you could act that way, I'm well, like that the you worst player ever, really. An actress by now. And I'm not you saying that, that to give you, you false be, security. Right? I really it am the worst player. It would be fun to be. The only thing I like more than Jennifer Tilly, by the way, is Jennifer Tilty. I know. You don't really have pawn up. You got like 5,000. Like 5,000 is decent. Tilty versus the local flavor in a three bet pot. I chat. And Jason Andrews is in a bad, bad way. Although they uh -oh. check the flop and he uh, gets yeah. a little more hope on the turn. I don't even know if that's in the first 10 questions. I bet 1,000. Maybe it should. Tilly bets 1,000. What do you think? Andrews Wait, calls. Do you think it should be top five, top 10, or what? When I first meet somebody, the question, are you married? Oh, wow. Wow. 
list of first questions that I ask him. Is that top five? Cletus, by the way, trying to get some dating yeah. advice from Jennifer Harmon. One of the other well, four. if they're not wearing a ring, she gives great dating like advice. I know from experience. experience. Still back. single, though, by the way, yeah, Jen. Thanks for that. I didn't like that turn. Didn't like that river. Tough fold for Jennifer. You have a boat? She's saying, yeah, she's saying that should be in the top five questions I ask. This guy's a Steelers fan, huh? I'm a bear. You don't say. They're usually much more spelt. I could call so the internet people don't make fun of me. Like, where do you live? Or what's your name? Maybe the first question should be how old Ooh, you are. You I didn't like that river so bad. Shove birds. Did you have me kick to the river? No, I did not. Yes, you did. She had a worse ace. Five. Worse ace. I'm Give him so a worse sad. ace. Hard to have a weaker kicker than ace deuce. Come on, everybody. Get your heads in the game. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. No, that's OK. I could have folded. I was going to fold. You just don't know how the local flavor plays. If you think Jason Andrews got lucky there, stick around for the rest of the show. This guy cannot be stopped. This is a really good hand for me, so I'm going to play it. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Welcome back to Rivers Pittsburgh with Joe Stapleton. I'm Chris Hansen. I hope you get aces and I get some garbage. I'm sorry, Jason, but I hope I, we stack out. off with me on the winning end because I offered it. I'm just trying to stack you, man. <laughs> shove and stack, right? Step one, shove. Step two, stack. You ever feel like things are just really loud around you? Like, there's so much going on. That's what I feel like at this table tonight. I can't let you people see the raw, naked fear in my eyes. Everyone's having so much fun. I love it. A lot of fear come out of them. I'm going to call. Wow, it's a snap call. Yeah. I'm just calling fast because I've had caffeine, not because I have a fantastic hand. You brought David. Uh, I'm just calling because I have the button. Dave is a grown ass And man. I'm running I think hot. Look, we're all telling the truth now. I'm running hot. Suited connectors, small pair is exactly the kind of hands people snap call with pre flop. 1400 from Andrews. And a call from ODB. And Andrews turns two pair in the words of Ernest P. Worrell. Ew. You still in the tournament. 2,600 and a call. Almost 10K in the middle. And David Baker rivers the straight draw. He's facing another large bet from Jason Andrews. Ah, Jason. Got anything? Jason. That's 3675 for Baker. He wants to call. If I fold, are you just gonna whip over a bluff really fast? I'll either show you or mark. It's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't want to see him, I won't show you, but if you want to see him, I'll show you. It would be pretty hero-y to call with third pair. I don't think you can beat Ace I. What are you trying to call with? But if he calls and this hand is shown down, he is not going to like what he sees. <laughs> you going to call me with King High? Get your name in the paper? Get your name in the paper. You want to see her or not? Nice lay down. Yes, oh, yes, he wants to see it. Yeah. I had two pair. You had two pair? I, um, no, no. I think the six was good, so you know. <laughs> Jason, six? how it works That's around insulting. here, you only show your cards if it makes the other person feel like <laughs> nice hand, Jason. Thanks, sir. Only if it has a chance of making them cry. I missed it, Nick. It came right for your blind. You missed it, bud. Oh, look, it looks like uh, Samwise Gamgee is finally going to join the fellowship. Oh, and look at that. He's got kings. Must be the bottom of his range. How much? This is a really good hand for me, so I'm going to play it. I was going to say ace incoming, but since we missed the flop, I guess trip twos is the only way kings get cracked here. They have not been faring well on Poker Night in America recently. Turn is a jack. All right, well, I guess I'm finally ready to take the side of kings on this one. Order checks behind. Interesting. I 
think King's got a bet there. No, no, no. Why do you do this to me? Andrews checks again, just begging Hoarder to bet. Clever girl. That's important. Oh, and he's yeah. taking the bait. And Kings aren't losing oh, yeah. too much here. 1475. Oh, okay. And there is the raise from Jason Andrews, this poor kid. Plays like a nit all day to get Kings cracked by Ace Deuce. Smell you later. Ah, oh, it's a good time. Everyone's loving it. Yeah, this is fun. Good. Yep, there's the shot. Oh. So the hand's been good for me, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what you want to hear, by the way, when your kings get cracked by ace deuce. Ah, his hand's been good for me. <laughs> Go ahead and keep the urine sample. I'm out of here. Right, Smell? Right. Yeah. Okay, good. Later. Dave Elders back at the table, taking up seat two. Where do you live now? I live in Arizona, Tucson, Arizona. Nice. I once heard Tucson, Arizona described as nothing but garbage in Southwest mom art. I don't know if that's true, but it tickled me. Shove Nation stacked this kid, and then... That nice young fella I stacked, to my I left and them. now got Eldred. I stacked, I stacked him with Ace Deuce. Ace Deuce. <laughs> Swear to God, against Kings, I cracked okay, Kings. You have to get a t-shirt made, and that can be your card right. from now on. You're lucky it's got to be Because calls the 300. That could have been me. Upsy Baker. Daisy from David Baker with Queens to 1,500. Baker likes to put Max Payne on. Max Payne. Max Payne, a.k.a. Mark Wahlberg's 11th worst movie? Which is oddly also his eighth best call, movie. Because I know Dave and Nick are going to call. We're not afraid of those 1,500 <laughs> bets around here, buddy. It's really humiliating. I was back there trying to put my eyelashes back on, and I could hear Phil and uh, David Tuckman talking about my play in the Ace Two head. Just like anybody in the world would fold here. I'm like, <laughs> I'm right, I'm right here. Am I invisible? <laughs> What is it, 15? We've got a big pot brewing here pre flop. 6,100 bucks in the middle. I don't know why, but I got a real bad feeling about Queens here. At least one of them. Oh, wouldn't you know? Jason Andrews can do no wrong today. It was 3 3 and 1. Now it's 4 to 3. Yeah, 4 Pittsburgh. So this table's changing a lot. I don't know if Yins are ready for it. Yeah. For Yinzers. For Yinzers? For Yinzers. Yeah. Is that what they call you guys? Right. Yinzers. This guy is running hotter than the buttered atomic dust wings at Big Shot Bob's House of Wings. People from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh reference for you. All right, Jason. Wow, they can. Baconator is not laying like down. Not there, Baconator, yeah. I wish I had thought of that. Good one, Cletus. Oh. So many more reasons for David to fold his queens once that king peels off. Wow, and just look at Andrew, just <laughs> pouring in the money. And Baker just obliging him. Look at this. Has he not been watching the hands so far? Don't you know this guy's the best at poker in all of Pittsburgh? Okay. Literally every possible reason for Queens to fold. There's an ace, there's a king, there's the sevens, there's the guy that won't stop betting. Oh, this is just, this is just a gross amount of chips. Oh, and he's putting french fries on top of it like they do with everything here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Look at this. 5,900. Welcome to Pittsburgh, David. <laughs> You're not worried I have aces? <laughs> All right, that was the most badass line to come out of Pittsburgh since Jack Reacher told that guy he was going to drink his blood from a boot. Do you have any idea what I have? <laughs> I am not that good at reading people. He doesn't care. He knows he has the best hand. He really isn't supposed to have a seven. A figure of pocket pair has got to be good. Okay, Jason. One for the Pittsburgh guys. Wow, you. Baker calls. <laughs> Maximum <laughs> oh, pain. Oh, boy. Good hand. Thanks. Well played. We're going to take a break, but make sure you come back to see how far the local dude can take this run. Well, I mean, hopefully he won't run too far, because then he won't be local anymore. Don't hit me. But I do want to look good for my mom, though, because I don't want her to send me that text. She hasn't been proud of many things, so I need her to be proud of something, you know? Welcome back to Poker Night in America, where a certain Mr. Andrews is about to show them how it's done. Did you just call him Mr. Andrews because you forgot his first name? No. Prove it. Uh, let's just get back to the table, huh? <laughs> I don't know it either. Check out Stax McNasty over there. Jason Andrews crushing this game. Oh, I really should raise with this hand. 
least call. You good? No, I didn't mean anything. By, I, I, I like the nation. I didn't know if you thought it was me. Okay. Well, there's Pocket like Queens chicken. again. This He's time they're with Dave Eldridge. Well, I was about to say Andrews is either going to win one with a big pocket pair or finally have one of his cracked, but no, he's just going to start off dominated before the flop. He made it three. Eldridge makes it 1,700. Sky Imicus is like a normal human-looking Mike Mattiso. This is a pretty big call to make with Ace-10. I don't hate the fold, especially being that he's up against queens and jacks. I'll tell you that in a minute. Okay, okay so I'm Take it winner. easy on me, Shell. You going to take it easy on me? So you think you feel worse? Never. Probably makes sense. Here comes the flop. Oh, man. Jason Andrews is running hotter than Marvin Gaye's oven. At least David Eldridge has got that king out there to maybe scare him off this pot. It's just hard to give the guy who's always got it credit for always having it. Would you have called the show free? I don't know if he had that, like, break. Well, now, Eldridge did pick up the flush draw on the river. Did you get a lot of, like, endorsements? Yeah, you got a lot of endorsements and stuff. So if he calls this $3,400 bet, he could still hit a queen yeah. or a club on the river to win. Jason's a beast over here. A beast. Eldridge calls. <laughs> and he's got just over pot left behind. Yeah, that's a pretty this, big frickin' pot. Yeah, this is Once what again, like Jason Andrews is going to win a massive pot. How much bigger will it get? Now you're trying to sell him a house in Value Town. He's, he's my favorite. He's Makes a very reasonable value bet, right around half pot. Yeah. I thought you were going to take it easy on me. Shove Nation, don't take it easy on nobody. I think you're going to be up like 13,000 more, Shove. Look at this. So they started doing that. Let the viewers vote 27 the turns into up 40,000. <laughs> it's a great game. All the Shove Nation. Oh, oh, no! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, so sick. I don't even run this good in so my sick. poker dreams. Wow. Like, in my fantasy, Eldridge even finds a fold there. Oh, my gosh. Pretty soon we're going to have to tell someone in the crew to go get that extra leg to put under the table over there because he's got a lot of chips in front of him. If there was such a thing as chip porn, that stack would be illegal in some of the more conservative states. Dave Elder is just fine. Here, take it. 7,400 with jacks. Yeah, I'll get five. five more hands. I got like 5,000 or so, and I want to try and get it in at some point in these five hands. Well, y'all are safe because Jason Andrews isn't in the pot. All right, I think me and Dave. Uh oh. I might make the loosest call ever here for 5,000 if I can. Oh, that's, that's a good card you want to look at right there. I haven't looked. For the record. And I believe that. So Dave Eldridge is pumping in 7450 on the blind. What do you think of that, Stapes? I think the good news for him is that Jason Andrews is not in this hand. I have not been running very good today. You should definitely call. What do you like? 7,000? Lock I mean, He has stuck more no than a mouse in one of those inhumane traps. No reason not to call. God, I would totally call if I still had cards. <laughs> we can next hand. All right, maybe. 7450? Awesome. Yes. Haven't looked. And there go three stacks. Four if you count the cherry on top. Is anybody rooting for Cletus for this sweat? Hey. Thanks, Ricky. I'm rooting for Cletus. Oh. That's not looking too good, though. Is that a face card? I see. It's, it's is that a face card? T Pain 69. That's a face card. You should call. No, actually, I'm inducing action. Yeah. Nice. No. I'm going to have another chance. Cletus. Two kings? That is Out. That is... That's so funny. That's really you should have got the chant going or something. Right. Could have you want to turn him up? Yeah. Yeah. Are, guys? Are we going to show it? Do you want to turn it up? I just want to do one. I, I, I want to see both his, but just one of mine. Ace wow. for Baker wow. and a jack wow. showing for Eldridge. I guess we're just going to look at one. It's looking pretty good for David Eldridge. The Battle of the Davids. That's a good ace. He's in good shape. Oh, oh, Bob, there's an ace for Baker. Cool he hasn't one. looked yet, though. He hasn't looked yet. Yeah. He doesn't even know what that is. You might have two pair, Dave. I, mean, yeah, I don't yeah. know that. Yeah. Dave, yeah. you might have two pair. I just pair. have an ace only. Ace only. You want to chop it? We got to see those other cards, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what, do, what do you have? Three, six. The Who's other getting the 15,000? David Baker nine, very likely to win this 10, pot. 11, 12, 13. You have 13 outs? Oh, my God. Oh! 
Oh, it's a set of oh, jacks for Eldridge. Baker Mox. I know you did. They don't lie. Remember I said a lot of times you don't lie. He would do that with Jack Five off. Oh, that's crazy. We'll keep doing that. Any, whatever he wakes up with, because he does not look. In the words of Jennifer Tilly, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. Get yeah, bucket jacks. He went all in without looking. People say playing jacks is tough, but uh, he made it look easy. Yeah, he now goes from losing a lot of money to just losing money. Find out who's winning and losing when we come back. Charity event you're gonna host? Probably to I'll host. To... Probably I'll host Tiger Woods event. Okay. You were at that, right? Yeah, I was at. And we, you went out late with Mark Cuban. I know that. I showed up at 12:45, uh, and you guys were with Mark Cuban and his. He had a booth, and Mark's like, "Phil, just take my booth. Whatever you need, whatever you like. I'd rather play blackjack with Tiger Woods, you know, than, yeah, than be at a club." Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. In the game of poker, sometimes you are up and sometimes you are down. Thanks, Claudia Schiffer. So I'm just trying to tee up the leaderboard. Awful. Go. Um, Chris. Who's Dan Wolf? That's Cletus. Oh. You know, the guy that we didn't really see play a hand, but somehow managed to lose 2,300 bucks? He probably went all to Jason Andrews. Yeah, let's take a look at where that guy's fat stack ended up. Jason Andrews up over 40,000, and he just played at the end of the session. My goodness, I wonder if Tom Schneider's wishing he'd have held that seat a little bit longer. That's a pretty good tactic, because nobody can run that hot forever. So, what did we learn here this week? Don't try to take the money out of Pittsburgh. And don't try taking that local freeway. It's always packed. Am I right? <laughs> oh, next time we're headed west to Sacramento. Uh, more like uh, Sacramento. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah, all right. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. Thanks for watching. Ace You want to top it? <laughs> <laughs> what, do, what do you have? Three, six. Where's the other card? Three, three six, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You have thirteen out. Oh my god. Oh! oh, he didn't look either. That's he sick. Didn't oh look. no, I, I didn't know. <laughs> that. That's insane. I don't know about Yins, but to this point, this is the most stellar poker that I've ever seen in my life. From the Rivers property in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen, and this guy is the pride of central Idaho. He is Joe Stapleton, and Stapes are wrapping up day three here at Rivers in Pittsburgh. You know, and I was just starting to like this place. I'm kidding, we're in the basement of a bar in Fargo. And speaking of murder, coming up tonight, How Jen Tilly continues a rare non-Chucky-related bloodbath. You are one lucky He's bastard. Like Put the kids to bed. Let's go. As we get started tonight, David Baker, ODB, is up 17,000. He's rolling right. And I guess whoever it is he took it from has left the table because no one is even down remotely that much. In his mind, forget that he had that money. Shame. I always love it when I stuff things away and... Then I'm like putting on some boots that I haven't worn for two years and, you know, $100,000 falls out. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you, but I've never found $100,000 in my house by accident. I only ever find expired gift cards that I was saving for a rainy day and then the place eventually went out of business. I'm talking to you, Bennigans. I'm going to raise you because I like raising. So I'll make it a nine. I'm going to call like, you because I like to call. I'm going to raise for him. Okay. I'm going to bet blind. I'm going to bet uh, <laughs> Love it. 13 blind. Which chance? This is fun table. Well, king right? high, so that hits Baker. Right. And the bottom pair hits Tilly. Cletus, you have a little tape here. Look. Is this That's where I'm where supposed, supposed to be centered? Another king on the turn. That means Jennifer is drawing deader than her favorite on screen husband, Everyone like this. Chucky. That's not stopping her from yeah. betting. Look at this. 
I can't believe when I was a kid I used to check behind the shower curtain for Chucky every time I pee, and now as an adult, I still do it. Tilly will hit the brakes, and ODB's wondering how much more money you can get out of her. Don't think he's expecting her to be as weak as bottom pair. Do you have a king again? Because that would be really rude. Yas queen. OK. Only thing I can't beat is a pocket pair. She also oh, yeah, can't beat a king. She can't beat a Miss Flush with the king of clubs. You can, can I look and tell her? Have met Glance's no. lucky ass action that you're sitting on. <laughs> because you'll tell her the truth. And I don't want her to know the truth. And she cannot beat somebody trying to outplay her with pocket threes or better. I feel like you have pocket sixes. But can you beat pocket sixes? No, I cannot. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> This is Jen first gang up on David Day. And Tilly will fold. So sad. He 100% has to show king. that. I want to say good fold, but it was kind of more standard oh, than a 71 Dodge you Dart. You are one lucky bastard. <laughs> you finally got a We're going to see it. We're going to see it. He had king time. Correct. You think? You get up. I'm taking You that. had him killed pre-flop, and then he smashed it. Uh, How could I have her killed? She had deuces. She can't be. Right? She did. not have a deuce. She had like ace queen. She had like ace queen. Oh, she said she had a pair. I love getting the local players involved on Poker Night in America. It's such a fun dynamic. Called you, she calls you with a pair. We do always do open casting calls at every spot we do, and so we never know who could be sitting at the table with uh, regular pros to visit us on Poker Night in America. So local flavor, Nick Imicus, straddling 200. This is really bad. I could have had that can confirm seat. the no look. But Phil, complain. I don't want to sit there. Now I've got David Baker to my left. I miss my blinds anyway, so Every I time I enter the pot, he's going to flat me. All right. All right. I think if okay, you were that good at acting, you would have been, become a Jennifer Tilly. I raise. Yeah. I make it 900. 900 if, if you could act that way, I'm like that the you worst would player ever, really. An actress by now. And I'm not saying that, that to give you, you false security. Right? I really it am would the worst be fun player. to be. The only thing I like more than Jennifer Tilly, by the way, is Jennifer Tilty. I know. You don't really have pawn up. You got like 5,000. Like 5,000 is so decent. Tilty set. versus. A local flavor in a three bet pot. I chat. And Jason Andrews is in a bad, bad way. Although they uh -oh. check the flop and he gets a little more hope on the turn. I don't even know if that's in the first 10 questions. I bet 1,000. Maybe it should. Until he bets 1,000. What do you think? Andrews calls. Do you think it should be top five, top 10, or what? When I first meet somebody, the question, are you married? Oh, wow. Wow. List of first questions that I ask him. Is that top five? Cletus, by the way, trying to get some dating advice from Jennifer Harmon. Well, if they're not wearing a ring. She gives great dating advice, I know from experience. Still single, though, by the way, Jen. Thanks for that. I didn't like that turn. Didn't like that river. Tough fold for Jennifer. You have a boat? She said, yeah, she's saying that should be in the top five questions I ask. This guy's a Steelers fan, huh? I have a pair. You don't say. They're usually much more spelt. I have to like call so the internet like people don't make fun of me. Like, where do you live? Or, or something what's like that. Maybe the first question should be how old Shove. you are. You I didn't like that river so bad. Shove birds. Did you have me kick to the river? No, I did not. Yes, you did. She had a worse ace. Five. Worse ace. I'm Get him so a worse sad. ace. Hard to have a weaker kicker than ace deuce. Come on, everybody. Get your heads <laughs> in the game. Sorry, Jen. No, that's OK. I could have folded. I was going to fold. You just don't know how the local flavor plays. If you think Jason Andrews got lucky there, stick around for the rest of the show. This guy cannot be stopped. This is a really good hand for me, so I'm going to play it. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. I want to Welcome back to Rivers Pittsburgh with Joe Stapleton. I'm Chris Hansen. I hope you get aces and I get some garbage. And I, I, I'm sorry, Jace, but I hope I, we stack off with me on the winning end because I offered it. I'm just trying to stack you, man. <laughs> shove and stack, right? Step one, shove. Step two, stack. You ever feel like things are just really loud around you? Like there's so much going on. What's what I feel like at this table tonight? I can't let you people see the raw, naked fear in my eyes. Everyone's having so much fun. I love it. A lot of fear come out of them. I'm going to call. Wow, it's a snap call. Yeah. I'm just calling fast because I've had caffeine, not because I have a fantastic hand. You brought David. Uh, I'm just calling because I have the button. Dave is a grown ass. And man. I'm running hot. I think you're telling the truth now. I'm running hot.